Hey, what's up you guys? This is Elise from thecrunchyginger.com and I have recently started playing around with infusing oils with dried herbs. And this is so simple and satisfying. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. And while I'm just kind of at the beginning of my journey of this, I wanted to go ahead and let you know about it because it's so fun to play around with. And I'm going to show you a method today um, using your crock pot for infusing these dried herbs into the oil. There are lots of ways to do this. Um, the most simple, of course, is to have your dried herbs in a jar, cover them with oil, and you let it sit for about um, four weeks or so. But you know what? I don't want to wait four weeks. So I'm going to show you this super fast way that you can do this today with some dried herbs that you might already have laying around. I'm going to use chamomile. These are dried chamomile flower heads. Um, that I got in bulk at the health store for tea, and they smell so amazing. Chamomile is so calming. We know it's calming in tea, and it's also really great and calming for our skin. And I'm also going to use some peppermint and spearmint mix, and it smells so good. And I have some really great DIY beauty plans for this mint as well as this chamomile. So I'm going to show you how to get started with this. You can use um, really whatever carrier oil you want. Olive oil is a really popular one. Sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, whichever kind of oil you like using. I'm going to be using mine probably for some DIY beauty recipes and we can talk more about that at the end of the video about ways that we're going to use that and I've got some plans for some upcoming videos. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and do that if you want to uh, pick up some recipes for using these infused oils in the future. Um, today I'm going to be using coconut oil and doing um, an infusion with a low heat using your crock pot like this is probably going to be the only way that you can infuse solid coconut oil um, because obviously coconut oil turns solid when it's not warm. So leaving it in a jar for several weeks is not going to give you an infusion. It's just going to be kind of a mess of solid coconut oil with some herbs in it. So I have melted my coconut oil over some low heat. This is just warm. It's not boiling. Really the only trick here is you don't want to fry your herbs. You want to keep them warm but not hot. So you'll start by taking a jar, whatever size you want, and you're going to fill it with about three quarters of the way with your dried herbs, especially something that's a flower like these chamomile flower heads because when they get um, saturated with the oil, they're going to expand a little bit. So um, you're going to want to leave some room in there for the expansion. And you'll just take your, um, your oil like this, and like I said, this is coconut oil, and we're going to pour it in over the herbs just to cover. There we go. And I'm going to fill it up about an inch or so from the top. You want to leave a little bit of space here. There we go. And I'm just going to use my, my spoon here. You could use a little chopstick or whatever just to kind of submerge all of my herbs into the oil like that. Now I'm going to put the lid on this guy, like that, and I'm going to do the same thing with my mint. So now we're going to be using the low heat of a crock pot. Now the trick here is you do not want to cook these herbs, so you're going to want to keep this at the lowest setting. For me, I have a warm setting on my crock pot. That's what I would use if you've got one. Um, my low is actually kind of warm on my crock pot, so I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to fill the crock of my crock pot with water to about here on the jar, so about to under the rim. Um, because I'm going to put more than one jar in here, I'm just going to use like a little dish rag to put in the bottom so that they don't like clank together. And I'm going to leave it on warm and I'm going to leave the lid off. You want to keep the, the temperature of this water about 100 degrees or so. So periodically, you might want to just kind of check it to make sure it's not too hot. Or if you've got a thermometer, check it with that. Um, because you don't want to fry your herbs. You want to let them gently infuse into the oil. There's some debate about the perfect amount of time to do this method. Anywhere from 2 hours to 24 hours is kind of the, the recommended time frame. So I'm just going to leave this going for the rest of the day. This has been going for about uh, about eight hours or so now. So let's check in on our infused oils. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your jar out of your water bath and dry it off. Water is kind of the enemy of this infused oil. 
um, any kind of water drops in here will increase the chance that our oil might get rancid or grow bacteria, which is definitely not something that we want. So let's make sure we dry the water droplets off of this so they don't drip into our oil. I'm gonna take the lid off. Mmm, smells really good. Now we're ready to strain the oil out of this jar. So we're gonna need a clean bowl or a jar. I've got a fine mesh strainer like this and you're going to want to line it with either cheesecloth or um, coffee filters. I actually don't have any cheesecloth but I did find these leftover coffee filters and you may need to do this actually more than once depending on how fine the sediment is from your herb but I am just going to pour this in here like this. I'm going to move it a little bit maybe so that you can see. Uh, pour it in like that and it's just kind of gonna kind of drip down into the bowl you can see it's starting to drip a little bit there and I'll let it sit for just a minute and then I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of a gentle squeeze to kind of get all of the oil out of these herbs so now I'm going to pour my amazing smelling infused chamomile oil into a clean prepared jar. I rinsed and dried my bowl and now I'm ready to check out my other oil that we infused which was our peppermint spearmint blend. So again I'm going to rinse wipe off the jar. Mm. Now you can see that there is a little bit of sediment still in these oils and that's kind of okay with me if you want it to be completely clear you might want to run it through your your strainer system another time and you can also see that the, the the oils have changed colors a little bit so that's something else you can play with in your other DIY recipes too as you can see that the mint did turn the oil a little bit green and the chamomile turned it a little bit yellow. So I'm gonna allow these to finish cooling. Because these are coconut oil, remember, they will solidify back at room temperature. So I'm gonna leave the lids off for a little while until they firm up. That way no condensation or anything forms in the lid and makes little water droplets or whatever. Herb-infused oils are not the same as essential oils. These are much less concentrated, they're more gentle, which means you can use them directly on your skin. But they're also awesome in other DIY skincare recipes. Below in the description box, I'll put a link to some other videos that you can check out. You can substitute these in for, for a like oil in um, my homemade non-greasy whipped body butter. You can use them in a lotion bar, in lip balm. I have a, a sleep balm that's made with lavender and this chamomile would be awesome in that as well. So have fun with this. This is just a jumping off point. You can also use them with essential oils. So play around with blending the, the scents and the fragrances. If you want to know more about this recipe, I've got it up on the blog. You can head on over to thecrunchyginger.com. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at thecrunchyginger on Facebook. If you want more ways that you can live a little greener and save a little money and some more great uses for these infused oils, subscribe to this channel. I'd love to stay in touch. Thank you so much for watching.